May brings one of two annual meteor showers that are attributed to Halley's Comet. The Eta Aquarid meteors are seen each year in May, whereas the Orionid meteors streak through our skies in October. This situation occurs because Earth crosses through Comet Halley's orbit twice every year in May and October. Along Halley's path is a meteor stream, lots of little grains of rock and dust cast off by the comet, and these strike our atmosphere and burn up as meteors. The shower peaks overnight on May 5th and into the morning of the 6th. You can see meteors from this shower the whole week centered around the peak night, though. The place on the sky where the meteors appear to originate, the radiant, is in the constellation Aquarius, so you'll have a chance to see meteors as long as the radiant is above the horizon, with more meteors the higher that point rises in the sky. This time of year Aquarius rises after midnight, so the time to watch this shower is in the few hours before dawn. This is a great shower for observers in the southern hemisphere. The radiant rises a good bit higher in the sky before morning twilight because in May, which is autumn there, nights are longer. Those in optimal dark sky conditions can see 40 meteors per hour. For northern hemisphere observers, it's less than half that amount, more like 10 to 20 meteors per hour. It's still an above average shower though, especially with the peak this year being near a new moon making for a darker sky. And with the warmer temperatures that come with springtime north of the equator, it can be a worthy shower to go out and enjoy. As always, to see the most meteors, find yourself a safe, dark spot away from bright lights and give your eyes a few minutes to adapt to the dark. Lie down with your feet pointed more or less toward the east and look straight overhead. Bring a warm drink and a friend or two and turn an early morning into a meteor morning as you search the skies for the Eta Aquarid meteors.